Hello from Sketch Data. Um, in this video, I'd like to give you an introduction to our version 2 reporting plugin. It's still in beta, but uh, let's give you a quick demo. Here I have a playground model open, and it happens to be in SketchUp Pro 2017, but the plugin will work in Pro or Make, and it works in both 2016 and 2017. But uh, we have the extension installed, and I use the extension manager to install the extension. This happens to be Windows. And we'll open up the extension. And here we have a dialog. And I'll go through some of these options here in a little bit, but let's just do a quick create some data. So it exported out some entities, some parent-child relationships, and some attributes. And it's done, so let's view the reports. I'll resize the window. And uh, let's look at this report. These thumbnails over here on the left are kind of a, are all customizable to kind of match what you want, and this gives you a list of the reports that are currently defined. Um, usually, the reports are all are going to be generated around a particular component set because the components and their attributes, or the attribute structure, kind of defines a database. So that you'd want components that all have similar attributes, so that your data structure is similar, thus you can report on it. But here's the report, and you can see that we're exporting item code, definition, size. That's all we put. But we could put other things on here. And there aren't any images on here. So let's go out, and close, and let's turn on that option. So here, I have the ability to print or generate data for images on select items. Um, I don't always want to generate images for everything because it can take a long time, which is this option here. But I just want to generate items that I've flagged as give me an image. And the way you flag or mark an item is I highlight it, and I can use this option to turn it on and off, whether I want an image exported or not. Here I turned it off. Here I turned it back on. And now if you were to save that component to your library, it would have that attribute. And the next time you report it, it would automatically give you an image if you pick this option. So let's generate our data again. Now this is going to take a little bit longer because not only is it going to generate the data, but it's actually going to have to go through each component and group that has that flag or the attribute set and refresh the thumbnail or refresh the image because, especially in dynamic components, colors can change, size can change, and things like that. So it, it's going through and updating the images attached to each of those components, um, which in a model like this will probably take a minute. And uh, also realize that we are kind of making changes to the model because we're refreshing images. So SketchUp's going to believe that the model's been changed. And when you were to close it or uh, go to exit SketchUp, it's going to say changes are pending. Just so you know, that's where it came from, is that because we updated the images of each component, that's why the model thinks it's changed. So let's see, we're almost done, hopefully. It looks like it's still right images. Okay, so now it's done. Yeah, it looks like it took about a minute. So now we go back to our reports. And now we can see that this playground entity list has not only a picture of the model, but then it has pictures for every entity or group or component, actually. And We can also look at uh, labels, now I have images, things like that. Now let's go back and look at some of the other options. So we've talked about this is the select images. This would give you all images for everything. And I'm not going to do that because it can take a while. And then this would give you uh, formulas on the attributes. Because you can see here it's actually exporting out attribute information. Usually it, just at, it exports the basic information on attributes, but if you wanted formulas, if you were designing dynamic components and things like that and wanted to help use for debugging, you'd turn that on. So uh, we'll turn this off. Then we also have these levels. And if we look at the outliner, you can see, uh, let's see if we find something. So here you can see how this has levels. So it gets pretty deep. In this case, I'm going eight levels deep, which means it's going to drill through and export all these components and groups and attributes for all the levels. If I know I don't need anything beyond level one, which would make it a lot faster, I can just set that, and it will only scan 
these parent items and give you those items. So it all depends on what kind of components you have and what kind of data you need exported. That's what that option is. Uh, we have help. This will go out to the web and, and have you look at a PDF of uh, instructions of how the plugin works and some other information and things like that. And then we also have a query builder. So for the entity data set, I can export out. This is going to be the variable name that's in the data set. So when I'm in writing my reports, this is what I would be using. Inside SketchUp, this is the attribute dictionary. So I know that there's a dictionary in these components called sketch data and on in that dictionary there's an attribute name called report so I want that to be exported out so I could use it in reporting also a lot of components that are dynamic components have a dictionary called dynamic attributes and here happens to be an attribute so these are going to be added on to the entity data set for reporting that's that and uh, let's go back and look at our reports. I won't need to build data again because I didn't change anything, so we're just going to go back to the reports. And give you a quick intro to the designer, and then uh, we'll do another video that kind of gives you more information on that. So if I were to go back to this report here, and if I go to design, you can see you have kind of a a report designer format. And so if I wanted to change the color, or let's make that italicized, and we'll change the back color to orange. If I were to hit save, and then if I go back and exit, so now I can see I've changed that report. And go back change that back to being not italicized and we'll go back to white and we hit save you can also preview in the designer if you want or I can return back to the the report viewer and see my changes I'm gonna pause the video right now and uh, try to bring this up and show you how it works in the Mac version okay so here I have SketchUp open in the Mac version, and I have that same, same uh, uh, playground open. So if we go to Extensions, Sketch Data Reports, it's very similar, although the Mac version of SketchUp doesn't allow the exporting or the creation of thumbnail images for components or groups. So you'll see those images are uh, turned, those options are turned off. So the reports can't have any images if you're working on the Mac version. Uh, SketchUp just doesn't support the component thumbnails, but we still can create data, still have the query builder, so we'll generate some data. And then we'll go and view reports. And this is not a very pretty report, it's more it was generated using the wizard which I'll show in a later video and just kind of gives you a, uh, a data dump of the entity data table. And uh, But uh, let me resize this window so we can see it all. But uh, from here you could then do a save to an Excel file or a data file, which is just a CSV file. But uh, we can also go to the designer and if we didn't like the name of the report, we could double click on it and we could change its uh, description there. Uh, the resolution allowed me to get to it. No, I'm running such a slow resolution, I won't be able to get to the save. Let's see if we can do something else. Double save it. Let's just change the color like we did to red. And we can underline it. We can italicize it. And we can save it. And then when we return, sorry, I couldn't get that other change. Just a resolution for my Mac. So now you can see we've done a change to the report. Anyway, so that is the plugin briefly running in the Mac version of SketchUp. Thank you for watching this video.